Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential problem? Solution from what we have here. We are given 25 raised to power x minus 20 raised to power x equals to 16 raised to power x. From here, let's divide both sides. That is, let's divide everything by 16 raised to power x. Here we also divide by 16 raised to power x and we divide by 16 raised to power x here. Then from here, this cancel out and we have one here. Then we have from the law of indices a raised to power n over b raised to power n, same thing as a over b or raised to power n that is here we have this as 25 over 16 or raised to power x minus here we have 20 over 16 or raised to power x equals to 1 from here then 25 is 5 times 5, which is also 5 square. Then divided by 16 as 4 times 4, which is also 4 square. Then, which is raised to power x here. Then minus here we have 20 as 4 times 5. Then over 16 as 4 times 4. Then raised to power x here equals to 1. That is from here. Also, following the law of indices, we bring the power of 2 out. So we have 5 over 4 all square. Then, which is raised to power x again from here. Then minus here. 4 comes to each other. So we have 5 over 4 raised to power x equals to 1 from here then when we use the law of indices again from a raised to power m raised to power n is the same thing as a raised to power m n which we can also write as a raised to power n raised to power m then it implies we can interchange this power and we have 5 over 4 raised to power x then raised to power 2 from here minus 5 over 4 raised to power x then equals to 1 from here then from what we have we can use a letter to represent 5 over 4 raised to power x that is here let u be equals to 5 over 4 raised to power x then this equation becomes u square minus u equals to 1 then Let's take one to this side to form a quadratic equation. Then we have u square minus u minus 1 equals to 0 from here. Then solving this quadratic equation here, a equals to 1, b equals to minus 1, and c equals to minus 1. And from the formula here, which is u equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a then we have u equals to minus minus 1 plus or minus square root of minus 1 square minus 4 times 1 times minus 1 over 2 times 1 that is here we have u equals to 
minus times minus that's plus that's one plus or minus square root of minus one square that's one then minus times minus that's plus plus four there then over two which implies we have u equals to one plus or minus root five over two then we have two values of u here which are u equals to 1 plus root 5 over 2 then u equals to 1 minus root 5 over 2 now let's recall that we represented u as 5 over 4 raised to power hex then on this side we have 5 over 4 raised to power hex equals to 1 plus root 5 over 2 and on this side we have 5 over 4 raised to power hex equals to 1 minus root 5 over 2 then here this side is a positive number this is also a positive number then here yeah, this is positive and this is negative so here yeah, we have no resolution on this side then from this side here yeah, we take the log on both sides and we have log 5 over 4 or is to power hex equals to log into bracket 1 plus root 5 over 2 here then from the power law of logarithm we take x to the back here so we have x log 5 over 4 then equals to log into bracket 1 plus root 5 over 2 then to get x divide both sides by log 5 over 4 so we have divide by log 5 over 4 here and also divide by log 5 over 4 here then this cancel each other here then we have x equals to here we can write this from change of base from log a over log b which is same thing as log a to base b then what we have here become log into bracket 1 plus root 5 over 2 then to base 5 over 4 so here we have the value of x to this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget the steps subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell see you next class and bye for now